Carl, will you handle that? Okay, uh, Carl Rothbart. Marty Strelunas. Tom Nisley. Right. No one else from the commission yet? No. We need a few more. I know Michaela told me she wasn't going to be able to make it, so I hadn't heard from anyone else. Right. How many do you need to get for? I think three is a quorum, isn't it? I'm not sure. I think three is a quorum of that. Okay. Rather, we had four. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's give it another minute or two. And is Keith joining? Keith has yeah, just come me. on. Yep. Keith has yeah, just come. come. So let's go ahead with some discussion on that and we'll review the quorum situation before we vote. Okay. Um, should I just start? Sure, little... yeah, if you wanna just give us an overview. Okay, Nancy. Sure, yeah, and then I'll turn it over to Keith to go into the details of the plan. So this is very much of a um, COVID inspired project is that if we, as both, as we've been sort of shut down and as we think about the future going forward, we realize that we had this campus with a lot of educational opportunity, but if you don't come inside, you can't learn very much. And so we've done, we've taken a number of steps over the course of the last nine months. We have done some exterior signage on the Hanford Silliman House, which is the 1764 major historic house museum. Um, as this commission knows, we're building a terrace out by Owen Oak Ridge between the Cody Pharmacy and the Lindstrom Room that will accommodate outdoor education and outdoor gatherings. And this um, pathway is designed to connect the Tool Museum, the, there is a pathway already to the Rogers Studio from the uphill parking lot, but designed to connect the Tool Museum, the Rock School, um, the Rogers Studio and the Hanford Silliman House in a way that then we can have educational and interpretive signage for each of those buildings. And it will allow people to come and explore the campus and learn about what's here, even if they don't wanna come inside, even if they can't come inside, or even if we're closed. Um, and so we think that this is a kind of unintrusive way to make the campus a lot more inviting and um, more useful to not only the members, but to visitors, to anybody who strolls through our, our lawn. And I'll tell you that most of the people that stroll through our lawn are coming with their dogs or coming with their kids. They're, they don't necessarily have much to do with the historical society, but I think that they could benefit and enjoy um, the opportunity to read about or to sit on the little terrace or to um, learn about what's here. Very good. Yeah, makes sense. I, I just have one question because to me it looks, you know, it looks fine and it's really not going to be visible from the road. So it's uh, the, the patio that's being created, that 20 by 20 patio, are there going to be any retaining walls or perimeter walls that would be visible or is it just a flat patio no it's all of, uh, within inches of existing grade actually we'll just okay. obviously level it out but there's no need for any walls and um it's really pretty uh we've chosen that location um for a number of reasons but one of which is it's already very flat but also it's a it's uh it's a spectacular location to look out from over down across the whole uh, big lawn down to the road and the main buildings. It's, it's really a, a beautiful spot. And so we kind of identified it as um, a potential for this kind of an, a widening of the path and the terrace, because really we started out with a path 
plan connecting the buildings so that people could um, go from um, obviously building to building. There's there's uh, school groups, there's visitors from out of town, all kinds of people. So we wanted to make the buildings more um, connection friendly, so to speak, and also the the surface will be better for people. But then when we looked at that particular location, it really is a spectacular view. So I, I hope when you get a chance to stand there and think about it in that light, you'll agree that it's a real candidate for um, making it into a destination for that part of the property. And there's, there's a beautiful apple tree that won't be disturbed. Yeah. Um, and, and, but we will have some benches. I think our children's committee is also thinking that if children wanted a place that they could sit and draw or something, they wouldn't have to be in the lawn if they didn't want, if the grass were wet or something like that. So it's, it's, it's designed to be kind yeah, of a multi-space, multi-use space. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's I think also it's a great a, addition a, a to the really campus. <clears throat> beautiful, huge oak tree there as well, and yeah. um, and that is uh, that that clearly won't get disturbed. But what we anticipate is that, of course, when that leaves out beautifully, um, it provides a wonderful amount of natural shade for that area, which adds to its attraction greatly. Also, I've always liked the word pollinator when it appears in. Uh, any proposal. Um, I, I don't say that it has to be added, but I'm just uh, throwing that word out. And, and I think we've already made adjustments for that for the terrace down by Owen Oak. I think but, that the, the um, up, up on the pathway, there probably won't be any additional plantings, but we can, tell, you're here, we can come and look and we can put in a, we can put in a pollinator for you. Good. <laughs> well, I would, I would, I would say we should vote to accept the design as presented. Yes, and I, Pam, Pam yeah. Brandon is on. I'm glad you're here. Yes, <laughs> Pamela, you're definitely voting today. Yeah, I was happy to hear about the pollinator too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on that up in Massachusetts. <laughs> So, uh, was that a motion, Carl, to, to accept? I would make a motion to, yeah, accept the design as presented. Sure. I, a second? First, yeah, I just have a question first. Um, does this take into consideration different um, uh, tent sizes and configurations? Because I think that's an opportunity uh, to have that as a place for tenting on occasion, uh, maybe even for your education programs. The, um, the, the major lawn where we do like our ice cream social tent and the step into summer tent won't be impacted at all by, by this path. Right. It's too far up. I think if oh, somebody- no, I'm thinking the ter I'm, oh, I'm thinking the terrace. Is the terrace uh, scaled nicely for a tent? Yeah, and we also have, um, I don't know if anyone's noticed this because there's some overgrown hedges around it, but there is a beautiful existing terrace to the, um, to the office side of the Hanford Sullivan House. So if you, if you know where we, we planted the tree yeah. for Jim Bach and then you go up and there's a, and we oftentimes have a small tent there for making lemonade at the Ice Cream Social. And so there would be these two places that if we were to do a day camp or something like that and we needed shade or something, people wanted small. Um, this, this fall, the, uh, I think it was the newcomers group put up a little tent on the lawn and they did pumpkin decorating because it needed to be outside. So all of those kinds of projects would be well yeah, suited to this good. size. Yeah. Good. I would just add that um, uh, Marty, adjacent to the patio, it would all be, uh, it would be flush with the lawn, which is also pretty flat. So it's pretty flexible as far as uh, being able to accommodate groups and tents if it needed to extend to a certain size, people could easily flow on and off of the terrace. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Bill, for that. So are we ready to vote? Yes. Yes. 
Uh, those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. Yeah, and I didn't hear any no's. If there are any, say speak now. Well, I'd say great. thank you. I'd say, I'd say thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Our children's committee is going to be so excited. We will get going. And hopefully this can all be done at the same time as the terrace. So the whole um, Very nice. campus will be transformed and you can all come and have a celebration with us. Sounds good. 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 Thank we you. Will. Okay. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, so Thank the you. meeting's adjourned. Very nice. Thank uh, you. Meeting, meeting is adjourned. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thank you all. Okay. Take all care, right. Everyone. Bye, you. everyone. Michael, Bye. glad you're here. Report on this. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you, Pam. <laughs>